continuing um, 11.1 intro to sequences and series. Uh, this is the summation notation now that we're talking about here. And the summation notation is just an easier way to write a sum of a long string of numbers, basically. Um, so if I gave you something like this, 3 plus 6 plus 9, you notice a pattern, right? It's going up by 3 every time. Plus, I have to add each of those together. We could sit here and write all this out, but what we could actually do is um, I could rewrite that in summation notation. And this little sign right here, this sigma, that is summation. That's what that is. So when we talk about adding a whole string of numbers, that's what this gigantic Greek symbol is. It's the sigma sign. Um, remember that I said how it always starts at 1? Well, that's why I have 1 down here. This should always um, be a 1 down below. Okay, so I want you to keep that in mind. Um, there should always be a 1 down here below. And um, this 3i is the pattern that we'll discuss on how we get the pattern in 11.2 and 11.3 but this is the uh, this is the pattern so the pattern goes out in front and because this is dot 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 it goes on to infinity so what this means is I would start with 1 and I plug a 1 in so 3 times 1 then I would have um, start at 2 so it would be 3 times 2 then I would go to 3, 3 times 3 and then 3 times 4 so then it would be 3 times 5, 3 times 6, 3 times 7 and I would add them all together to get my answer. Um, sigma notation is the same as summation notation. It's the same thing. It's both still that Greek letter for sigma. So I just wanted you to make sure you understand that they're interchangeable. Um, that's basically the key there. So if I said write this in summation notation, basically what I'm saying is we need to find a pattern. Okay, well this is an identical problem to the one I just showed you. It is, instead of three, and instead of going up by 3 every time, it starts at 5, and it goes up by 5 every time. So since we know we're talking about summation notation, um, we get the idea that uh, to find this pattern is 5 times 1 gives you 5. 5 times 2, because and I know I'm starting at 1, because uh, 1 is what we are supposed to plug in for the first term, unless otherwise specified. So that's why this is 5 times 1 to start. Um, 10 is 5 times 2. 15 is 5 times 3, 20 be 5 times 4, and this ends the whole way up at 100, which is 5 times 20. So since we're talking about adding a large string of numbers, we know that it's going to be this gigantic sigma sign, and we know it starts at 1. Okay, so our pattern is 5i, meaning 5 times something, right? So 5 times 1, 5 times 2, 5 times 3, 5 times 4, and so on. So that's how you know it's 5i. And what is the last number that I plug in for i? Well, the last number I plug in for i would be 20, because 5 times 20 gives you 100. That's why this up at the top is a 20. So what this means is I start by plugging in a 1, and I go the whole way up to plugging in a 20. And I find the sum of all those numbers in this pattern of 5i is basically what this is saying. So taking a look at this one now, um, you can probably guess what the next number would be, right? It would probably be 5 over 6. And here's the pattern, right? If I plugged in a 1 to start, right? 1 over 1 plus 1 is 2, so 1 over 2. If I plugged in a 2, it would be 2 over 2 plus 1 is 3. If I plugged in a 3, it would be 3 over 3 plus 1, which is 4. So you can see that that pattern does work. And notice how if I start by plugging in a 1, it works. And if I plug in a 2, it works. If I plug in a 3, it works, and so on. So, since I'm adding a whole string of numbers, there's the large sigma sign. We know it starts at 1 because it didn't specify, so I know that I always start at 1. Since there's dot, 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 it ends at infinity. And this is the pattern that we found. So I put the pattern out in front. Now this is you working backwards. I give you the sigma notation. I want you to actually uh, solve it by plugging in the numbers. So what this is stating is it starts at 2i. I want you to start by plugging a 1 in and add the whole way up to 6. So what that means is 2 times 1 plus 2 times 2 plus 2 times 3 plus 2 times 4 plus 2 times 5 times 2 or plus 2 times 6. And I started by plugging in a 1, which is what this means. I end it by plugging in a 6, which is what that means. So I add all that string together. That's 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10 plus 12, which is 42. The sum down here means I start at 3, and I end up plugging in a 6. So 
plugged in a 3, that's 3 squared. Plugged in a 4, that's 4 squared. Plugged in a 5, that's 5 squared. Plugged in a 6, that's 6 squared. So 3 squared is 9, 9 plus 2 is 11. Um, 4 squared is 16, plus 2 is 18. 5 squared is 25, plus 2 is 27. 36, uh, six, times, 6 squared is 36, plus 2 is 38. Add all those together to get 94. So formulas for some special sums and series. Um, we will uh, talk about the rest of those uh, special sums um, when we come back here. Um, but we'll hopefully try to finish up with 11.1 uh, when we come back.